a first order reaction takes uh, 40 minutes, time is given 40 minutes. For 30 percent decomposition of the reaction, consider the initial amount of the reaction is 100 and uh, after decomposition, the amount will be 100 minus, since it decomposes 30 percent, the remaining amount will be 100 minus 30 is equal to 70. We will label it final amount of the reaction. Since the reaction is of first order, we apply the formula for the first order of reaction. The formula is K, K J rate constant is equal to 2.303 divided by time t log initial amount of the reaction divided by final amount of the reaction. Initial and final values are given, uh, time is also given, we can plug in all these known variables in this equation and find out rate constant k. 2.303 time is 40 minutes, 40 minutes log initial amount is 100, final amount is 70. You can divide 100 by 70, you will get 1.43. Two point three not three. We divide two point three not three by forty. You will get uh, zero point zero five seven six multiplied by log of one point four three is equal to zero point one five five, and it is per minute. We mention here yes, per minute. You can multiply both numbers. You will get zero point zero zero eight nine. It is eight nine per minute. We write this number in scientific notation. We move this decimal after 8, 8.9 we get. Since we move this, de this decimal on right side after 3 digits, we will get 10 to power minus 3 per minute. This is the rate constant of the reaction. Well, the question says calculate T half. T half is the symbol of half period. The relation between half period and rate constant k is given by T half is equal to 0 0.0693 divided by k. k is a rate constant. Its value is determined here. We can plug in this, uh, this value in this equation and find out T half is equal to 0 0.0693 k value is 8.9 multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 and unit is per minute. You can divide 0 0.0693 by 8.9, you will get 0 0.07787 and in the denominator we have 10 to power minus 3 and unit is, it is in the denominator it is per minute, if it goes up as a uh, numerator you will have minute. Well, we can write this number in scientific notation. We move this decimal after 7, then you will get 77.87. 77. Since we move this decimal on right side after 3 digits, you will get 10 to power minus 3. And see in the denominator, denominator, we have 10 to power minus 3. Unit is minute. We cancel same exponent values and the value we have 77.87 unit is minute. This is the half period of the first order of the 